Hi guys, what's up? It's Nicholas P here. I figured I'd give you a quick farming guide today. Uh, basically, it's just the herb runs because I got 90 farming just from herb runs, so I figured I'd give you a quick guide on it. So, the equipment I'm using for this is the Master Green Finger, which uh, decreases the chance of your herbs dying, as well as giving you a 20% chance, something like that, to receive an extra herb. I also have the Magic Sector Tears, obviously, and a Pendant of Farming, which they help quite well. I'm not really a fan of the Squeal of Fortune, but these things are pr quite good. And the Explorer's Ring to teleport to the uh, the Cabbage Patch for the Falador Patch. Uh, I don't have the Ardugna Cloak, which teleports you to the Ardugna Farming Patch, but I don't really care. Um, in my inventory, I have the Juju Farming Potion, Ectophile to teleport up to the uh, Farming Patch of Cannabis. I have four Dwarf Weed Seeds and four well, Limpwort Seeds, because we will be planting seeds in four different patches. I also have some Super Compost, eight for each of those. You can use the Lunar Spell for the compost but I like to be simple um, so yeah that's pretty much it so let's get started okay first things first you want to empty the ectophile which will teleport you to Canifus and then it will fill up automatically you then want to head west towards the Canifus patch following my direction here it is okay when you get here you can activate the aura and drink a dose of the juju farming potion as you can see okay let's farm so I'll start with the herbs first and then move on to the limpworth seeds put the super compost on and then click the seed onto the patch and there you go now clean these herbs and then use them on the leprechaun to note them and then do the same process with the limpworth seeds and basically this is the same process for each of the patches uh, this is the the explorer's ring. This will teleport you to the cabbage port. This requires you to do the uh, the falador. No, it isn't the falador one. It is the drainer. I'm not too sure what uh, diary it is, but it's one of those. So yeah, it's the same process for each of the patches. Just do the same. Some runs are better than others. Just a, a matter of luck, really. Because I've drunk a Juju farming potion and uh, the Master Green Finger, it's, there's a chance I can get three in one grab. Clean these up. And then to teleport to Udugna, what I do is I use the Lodestone, so make sure you've unlocked the Lodestones. There you go. Okay, now we're here. If you do have the Udugna Cloak, then you can just teleport straight to the patch. However, if you don't have the keep the cape like me, then you can just head up north and then east around the sheep field here to the patch and repeat the process. Okay, this is nearly done now. On average, I normally get about uh, 40 herbs per run. Sometimes I can get 20 or 60. 
it's just a matter of guessing really. Luck even. And then from here you want to teleport to Cathabi. Right. Now from Cathabi you want to head northwest from the Lodestone and here is the patch. Now for the Juju farming portion, it lasts for five minutes, so you want to be rather quick when doing the doing the run. The aura lasts for 30 minutes and recharges every 1 hour 15 minutes. So like with that's pretty good because obviously the herbs take 1 hour 15 minutes to grow. So it should charge just in time. But make sure you take the, the aura off straight after finishing the run. So that so that's done now use the remaining herbs and limp wort roots on the leprechaun and there you go there is my farming run it only takes five minutes and you get a, a quite a big juicy amount of experience there so yeah that's it pretty much um so yeah uh in the comment comment section below, give me some other videos I can make and subscribe, like, and yeah, give me some support, and then I'll make some videos for you. All right, bye bye.